Hi my friends, it's Miss Kate from School 1057 in San Marcos, California, and today we are going to be making truffle trees inspired by the Lorax by Dr. Seuss. Now my friends, in this story we see that the truffle trees are super fluffy, and so we are going to be using cotton balls to make our truffle tufts. We are also going to be using paper straws for our tree trunks, some liquid watercolors or you can use regular paints and put it in some water and some paint brushes as well as a glue gun. So the first step of this activity is to make sure that your cotton ball is nice and fluffy. So you can choose to buy the jumbo cotton balls but if you already have cotton balls at home you can just stretch them out to make sure they're nice and fluffy like this and then you can pick your favorite color to paint the truffle tufts and you can go ahead and go right on in. So I'm going to do yellow. And so I'm just going to take my paint and paint directly on the cotton ball. And I'm going to make sure to cover the entire thing. It's okay if some white shows through. As you can see, some of the ones I already made, you can see some of the white cotton ball showing through. And I think that looks kind of nice, so it's up to you. But you just want to make sure you don't miss any part of the cotton ball. You get the top of the cotton ball, the bottom, and all of the sides. And remember, truffle trees are very colorful, so you can make as many as you would like. You can do yellow, orange, purple, pink, red, blue, green, all sorts of colors. You can do the entire rainbow if you want. And you can also put it in a flower vase so that you can keep it on your windowsill or your side table, wherever you would like to look at your bouquet of truffle trees every single day. And so friends, I'm almost done covering my entire cotton ball. Almost, almost done. And I have some paint on my hands from doing my other truffle trees, so it's kind of changing the color, but that's okay because art can be whatever we want it to be. If we want our truffle trees to be tie-dye, we can choose to make them tie-dye. If we want to make them multicolored and do all sorts of colors in one, we can do that too. So when you're all done, I'm just going to stretch, 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 just to make sure that I didn't lose that stretch. And then I'm just going to rip the bottom so I can poke a little hole so that I can put my straw right in. And once the straw is nice and in, kind of like this, you can kind of put it in halfway. You can let it rest. And then a parent or an older sibling needs to take the glue gun and just put one dot of glue on either side of the straw to make sure that the cotton ball stays attached to the straw. So you just want to poke all of the sides to make sure you get all of the sides. And be careful not to burn yourself. And when you're done, you have a truffle tree. And you can put it in your bouquet of truffle trees. And it can be a decoration in your room that you can look at all of the time. I'm just going to put mine right on top here. And there you have your truffle trees. So my friends, I hope that you're able to do this activity at home. You can use all sorts of materials for the tree trunks if you don't have paper straws. Um, and you can use cotton balls, which most people have at home, and you can get creative with all sorts of colors and make your own bouquet of truffle trees just like I did. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.